All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The American is 31, the Brazilian is 45. He weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a nine inch reach advantage. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Bye. Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Presenting the challenger, the Cobra. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. dangerous fighter across all divisions in the octagon because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Uh, you are battering that nose. Well, 
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Unable to connect with the right. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So turning defense into offense there as he counters with a jab to the head. He's got the reach advantage, and it certainly paid there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Big punch land. Ooh. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, and that kick is blocked. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keep See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the feet right now. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, Roundhouse, talk to me about that kick. He is throwing his entire body into that kick to the point that he turns all the way around before he can face his opponent again. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Nice leg kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well placed kick there by Lee. Again, they will clinch. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his legs, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Telegraph that spinning back fist. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Big leg kick land. Rips the body there for good measure. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Oh, he caught the kick. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh, my gosh. Perfect execution on the kick. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready? You ready? All right, round two. 
straight punch lands. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed it out. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back, and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finish. Good stick. Going to the head kick here, it's there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. right hand lands upstairs. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, looking to counter with his left hand, but he misses. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Able to land with the left hand. Straight left counter, that one will work. Nice kick. Whipped on the uppercut there. Pretty good right hand. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. He's trying to establish that jab once again. Left hand punch into the clinch. Boy, tight club. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice punch lands. Try to establish that jab. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh! Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Just missed with the straight left hand. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch land over the top. Just misses with the jet. Right hand upstairs. with the right hand.
só perdeu porque ficou esperando ele. Você que tem que copiar primeiro. Right, a lot of high level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our Ready? next round. High Ready? number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Just missing on the uppercut there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you can a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. That will land it clean. Takedown defense holds up. Right hand punch with clinch. And he landed the right hand there. Great punch. That was a thudding leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and getting defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do at the top of the court? And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Nice punch there. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches and bunches? Punches and bunches. He's landing him upside his opponent's head over and over again. How good is that right hand? Oh, what a single collar tie there. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Real nice body kick land. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing a smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Right hand on point. Look at the force behind that leg kick. And they separate. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Blocks the shot. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Back and forth we go here. Battling for hooks. Good punch, Lance. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful takedown. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Just missing. So this is fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. 
Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. That's a big strike right there. has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Nice strike. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, crisp boxing here. The right punch followed immediately up by a left. Over the top. This fight's gonna be over, BC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his hands up. He's going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. All right, so he's landed some good shots here. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Great punch landed with so much power. Big head kick lands. All right, he engages in a single power tie. Leg kick. Looking to establish the jab here, nicely done by Lee. Oh, a huge block there. Beautiful right hook counter. Some nice back and forth action here. And now he's got that tie clinch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Right hand punch the clinch. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watch this guy going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. What a punch. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Beautiful punch. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Wow. 
Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this offense. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Nice kick. Back and forth we go! How about that chin? Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Nice great punch. Single collar tie now, master of the transition. Nice scramble. Another shot lands upstairs. Nice counter left hook to the head. Slips. Oh, nice straight left there. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. So a huge five minutes turned in by him there. Good work with those leg kicks, man. Real good job with the leg kicks. Just really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. He did a great job of finding an opening and taking full advantage of it. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponent. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Cruz now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Oh! Wow, actually got the takedown. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Side control now. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this. Yes, they have to be mature about the fact that this is a real fighting position, and the guy on top has a lot of opportunities to finish. If he's going to attack this north-south choke, he's got to drive that shoulder deep into his neck, really start to sink his weight away, which will in turn cut the oxygen from his opponent, allowing him to get the finish. Checks the leg kick. Right punches there. Way to hide that leg. Back and forth we go. Oh! Oh! And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement to set up the clip. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Uppercut attempt nearly connects, but no good. Again, back into this position. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. That was stuck in. Nice strike. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there. Ooh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and now he's got the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC heavyweight champion. And I'm not sure any heavyweight could have held up under that onslaught. A flurry of strikes 
to set up the TKO and championship victory here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 27 seconds of round number five, declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ruth. So a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the, the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now, over and over.